is recognized as Lyme Disease Awareness Month and is also the beginning of tick season in many parts of North America. It is a time when government agencies, healthcare advocates, and those dedicated to educating the public about the condition and ways to avoid infection join together to increase awareness of this important topic. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, each year more than 30,000 cases of Lyme disease are reported nationwide. However, studies suggest the actual number of people with the disease is more likely about 300,000. In North America, the disease is caused by the bacterium Borrelia burgdorferi and is transmitted to humans through the bite of infected black-legged ticks. Ticks can attach to any part of the human body, but are often found in hard-to-see areas such as the groin, armpits, and scalp. In most cases, the tick must be attached for 36 to 48 hours or more before the bacterium can be transmitted. While children are at high risk of becoming infected, occupational exposure to Lyme disease is also a significant concern for millions of workers who spend much of their time outdoors in areas known to have disease-causing ticks. Lyme disease can produce a wide range of symptoms, depending on the stage of infection. These may include fever, headache, fatigue, facial paralysis, arthritis, and a characteristic skin rash called erythema migrans. If left untreated, infection can spread to the joints, heart, and nervous system. People are encouraged to seek medical attention if they observe symptoms and have had a tick bite, live in an area known for Lyme disease, or recently traveled to an area where Lyme disease occurs. Laboratory blood tests are helpful if used correctly and performed with validated methods. The ticks themselves can also be quickly tested for the presence of Borrelia burgdorferi utilizing PCR-based DNA analysis. These are just a few things to know about Lyme disease, ticks, and Lyme Disease Awareness Month. To learn more about this or other occupational, environmental, health, or safety issues, please visit the website shown on the screen. IAQ-TV, the place to be.